Welcome back. Up to this point in the course, one of the main things we've been looking at is how to describe the distribution of one variable at a time. So for example, we've been looking at different measures like the mean and the median and the standard deviation. But now we're going to enter a section where we think about uh, describing the relationship between two variables. And so for our first topic, we'll talk about how to draw and interpret scatter diagrams. In this section, we'll use an example data set, and we've made this data available to you uh, so you can pull it up and follow along. And in this data set, we have a family doctor who's randomly selected 14 of his female patients, and he has the following data. So now you notice on each of these patients, we've actually got two measures. We've got an age and a cholesterol measure for each patient. This is called bivariate data. Bivariate meaning we have two different variables measured on each observation. And notice, by the way, that both of these variables are quantitative variables. So now when we have bivariate quantitative data, a very natural way to look at it is to create something called a scatter diagram, or often called a scatter plot. So to create the scatter plot, I'm going to take this data and copy it out into StatCrunch. So now here's our data. I've copied it out into StatCrunch. And to create the scatter diagram or scatter plot, I'm going to go to Graph, Scatter Plot. And now I need to decide which variable I'm going to show on the x-axis and which variable I'm going to show on the y-axis. I'm going to select age as my x variable and put cholesterol on the y-axis. And now select compute. And here's our scatter plot. So now earlier I chose cholesterol to be the y variable and age to be the x variable. And there's a reason for that. It's pretty typical in these kind of problems that I'd like to be able to try to describe or predict one variable as a function of the other. Well, the variable that I want to predict, that's the one that goes on the y-axis. It's often called the response, and it's sometimes called the dependent variable. The other variable, the one on the x-axis, it's often called the explanatory or the predictor variable and you'll also hear it referred to as the independent variable. So I've got cholesterol on the y-axis, age on the x-axis, and now the question becomes, is there any apparent relationship between the two variables? Now each of these points, by the way, of course represents one of the 14 women in the data. So each of these women has an age and a measure on cholesterol, and the question again is, do we see any apparent relationship here? Well, we can look at this data and we could say, yes, there appears to be what we call a linear trend in the data, a linear relationship between age and cholesterol. And what we mean by that is that as age increases, cholesterol is tending to increase in something like a linear manner. Now notice all these points are not fitting exactly on a straight line, and that's not usually going to be the case. But we can still say that as the one variable increases, the other variable tends to increase in something like a linear manner. Now our next step is going to be to go beyond just looking at the scatter plot and saying that there appears to be a linear trend in the data to actually calculating a measure that will quantify that linear trend and that measure is called the linear correlation coefficient and that'll be the subject of our next video.